basically that depression can look very different in different people where the mice are ingressing into the van. The air is thick with the smell of salmon carcasses. This beautiful place where life and death come together. Hi, my name's Flossie. This is my home, Sire in the Step Van, my self-converted RV, tiny cabin on wheels. A good day for the van today we've got the fireplace going and we'll probably get some solar this mo this afternoon once once the sun pa peeks past these trees yay oh she needs a wash i've been away for a while all these dishes are clean and yep I'm not visited in here but over here a little bit to be thrown out. Good morning. It's my first night back. I have been away with my partner and I was really, really hoping that the van would be rodent free. So I am still chasing down where the mice are ingressing into the van. I thought it was underneath the oven. So I need to check that because I've plugged it with steel wool recently thought it was the back doors but I've fixed the back doors it could be through the firewall somewhere I don't know but it doesn't look like they've done too much damage and I removed every single piece of food that I could from the van before I left I knew I was going to be gone for two weeks I took a two-week break did no filming just existed and went and met my parents friends and family over in Ontario and got to experience some beautiful fall weather and colors and I shared a bit of it behind the scenes with my patreons so they're the only ones who kind of have, will get a sneak peek of where I was and what I got up to um and I did a live stream for them giving a little recap but we are back to our usual programming from here on. I am back in BC, British Columbia, on the Pacific North Northwest coast of Canada. And I'm very happy to be here and back into the dampness and the mistiness and the mysterious aliveness that is BC that I love so much. And I was thinking about why I love this wet, damp climate. And I was like, well, I grew up in New Zealand. New Zealand is a subtropical place. It rains a lot there. It does not get very cold. It does not very get very, very hot. And so it makes sense that this place is one where I re relate to the weather. It feels familiar. It feels like home. And I'm excited to do lots more travel because I feel like every time you travel, you come back and you appreciate where you are so much more. There's something beautiful about being away, being somewhere else, having other experiences, which truly make you come closer to what you want, what you love, and know where your boundaries are, where your home is, where you belong. And belonging, I think, is something that we all seek and desire. And it means something different slightly to every single one of us. And I think that is magic and beautiful. I've been away for two weeks. I turned everything off. The solar has been on. And I'm really curious to see what the power is at. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, look. We have a full battery. Oh, that is so nice to see. Ah. <sighs> I've been feeling a bit discouraged and um, as you saw in my last video I have been uh, feeling the winter depression a little bit and I wanted to say specifically that depression can look very different in different people you probably see me and even now I have a 
a chipper-ish kind of energy and in the videos too but I really want to say that that's very much something that comes across because I enjoy what I'm doing in those moments so I am happy in those moments and it's the moments that are in between or when I'm doing something that I don't love that just feel like a slog or the moment moments where you're in bed and you have to pull yourself out and that is so hard um and I am at the moment unable to tell whether it's the seasonal stuff or the fact that I'm not really super enjoying the work that I'm doing. I don't know at the minute. Um, and so I'm hoping a couple months will give me a little more perspective. I'm trying to take care of myself and do things like exercise or move or spend out time outside, which I really haven't done this week. It's been sunny the last two days and I haven't been outside barely at all. Um, because the beginning of the week is the hardest part going back to, into the office mode because um, YouTube really barely covers my YouTube related costs in fact it probably doesn't it's hard and I want to say that I hear and have empathy and compassion for anyone else having a rough time Everything in the world is depressing and I'm trying really hard to do things that make me feel good and keep an optimistic perspective. Um, find things that make me happy, find things that are good news. And one of the things that really helps is having things to look forward to. So this time last year, I was looking forward to going to New Zealand. I was preparing for that, super focused on it and super excited about it. Now... This time, this year, I don't have any really big trips planned. Not anywhere where I'm going somewhere very vastly different and warm. That was the key thing. Vastly different, also familiar, friends and warm, and I wasn't going to have to work for a bit. Um, I'm not doing that this year. I'm staying here and I have a couple of trips planned or am planning. Um, I'm off to see Amanda very soon, which is really wonderful. Going to spend some days with her. <sighs> That'll be really nice. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I'm hoping to get down to the US in March. It's the little things like that that kind of boost my spirits and keep me being like, I can do this. So, I mean, I've fallen into some bad habits of spending too much time on the internet and spiraling and being avoidant. I am really trying to share things that inspire me and excite me and that I really am excited to share with you. And I'm struggling a little bit at the moment and I haven't been doing any baking or preserving or, or fun cooking, exciting things. And I've been outside less because it's been raining and yeah. Thank you.
air is thick with the smell of salmon carcasses along the shore again there are dead fish that have passed on after spawning and they I just hear seagulls and eagles all around here there's just so much life what a gorgeous evening I've heard people talk about the number of eagles and the amount of fish that would be on the side of the river and how many more it would be or would have been even 10 20 years ago um, and I think of how precious of a resource the salmon is and feel sad about humans constant over resource extraction something only gets done when the resource extraction no longer becomes capitalistically viable and so I've been hoping to go diving and swimming in the river and I actually think this is a good place to do it because I can walk all the way up there drift with the river flow and still have plenty of time to get out oh there's a fish it's on its last legs there's two fish and I say legs ironically because fish don't have legs this beautiful place where life and death come together I want to end this video with this beautiful quote from Brene Brown. True belonging is the spiritual practice of believing in and belonging to yourself. So deeply that you can share your most authentic self with the world and find sacredness in being both part of something and standing alone in the wilderness. True belonging doesn't require you to change who you are. It requires you to be who you are. A good friend taught me that when you feel like you have nothing to give, show kindness. Because kindness is received as love and somebody else is always in need of it. Every bit matters. If you have any friends who might enjoy watching this video, please share this video with them. I appreciate the audience and community that gathers with me each week so much. You're changing my life and I hope I can share my excitement and adventures with you. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you all next week. A huge thank you to my Patreons who make doing this every week sustainable for me. I can't wait to read your comments. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye.